Hello. Ce faceți? Bine v-a regăsit la un nou episod pe acest canal. Astăzi vă voi prezenta ce mai noi mașini în 2019. Hai să-i dăm drumul. Prima este Skoda Vision X. Wow. O să este bestială. Skoda Vision X. Skoda. Vă zic de acum este Skoda. Uite. Skoda Vision X. Asta este display-ul. Am baterie 15%. What? Vigenix Are display on board? Skoda Ce are penny board? Chia am derulat Display-ul e super mișto, cred că a combiat Cred că a copiat BMW-ul la display Wow! Să faceți analizarea asta. Am spus mai la clipul pentru că ai vrea să prezint și alte mașini. Ce ce te spune? Cum arată? Să văd că este foarte and compact. You can see this generous point where we have beautiful game of light and shadow and the car appears oh, like a diamond sculpture. Oh, the front is very open, the car is very open, the car is very and agility. The most dominant is the grill which is made out of the crystal and is lighting and highlighting our history and heritage. And this is my favorite part of our concept. On the rear end, we have completely new interpretation of our Seagraphy, which is divided, yes. and the car has very unique night design signature. On the Vision X, you can see these very sharp and crispy lines inspired by Bohemian Crystal. This Bohemian Crystal is our... The interior is well and open to the passengers. The ambient light of the car is quite unique as well. It has the same triangular theme as the exterior. The seats are also sporty What's and quite cool open. Uh, also, the interior is uh, full of uh, uh, simply clever ideas to emphasize no practicality as an additional. Mamma, cosa che ti grilla? Ti rimane la grilla. Black screen is the color. Non lo sto mai sentendo. Black screen. Let's play. Și în bord aici și e Și hai Cât a fost cu Skoda Vision X Care este despre următoarea mașină Următoarea mașină va fi O mașină De viteză Și a revenit cu un A revenit cu un 2019 Chevrolet Camaro SS Review Ai gata, ce mișcă mică de mașină. Mamă! Poate de cealaltă generație că mă rog, da. Camaro. By the way, so if you're still learning how to heat tow, that is going to be there to help you out in the meantime. And then the optional transmission is the 10-speed automatic with paddle. 
but that transmission is going to add an additional $1,595, and that setup is going to also give you line lock and launch control. So line lock feature, meaning if you're going to the drag strip, that's going to lock the front brakes and allow the back end's complete freedom for the best burnout to warm up the tires before you actually get started. So that's pretty cool, but red line on this one is going to come in at 6,500 RPM, 0 to 60, approximately 4.1 seconds, with MPG numbers coming in at 16 in the city, 25 on the highway. And now, before I do this, come in at 6,500 RPM, 0 to 60, approximately 4.1 seconds, with MPG numbers coming in at 16 in the city, Sport mode here, but what these driving modes are actually going to do for you is it's going to adjust throttle response. Your Eagle F1 Supercar 3 tires, so definitely a little extra grip with those as well. And when it comes to visibility, let me touch on forward visibility first. You will get a head-up display if you go with the 2S, and if you were to own it day in and day out, you would certainly get used to it, I would assume at least. But anyways, enough of the driving dynamics. Let's check out the exterior on this new 2019 Chevy Camaro SS 1LE. Chevy Camaro SS 1LE. Mustang 2020 for Mustang Shelby GT 500. No, we will not believe this machine. This has appeared. I know. I've seen this or this. This is the Ford. This is a Ford Mustang. Machine has been 5 seconds in the total hour. She has a new emblem. Shelby has a new Cobra. Mare calul de la Mustang. Uitați să vă și cum cum arată mașina asta. Reamintesc, Ford, Mustang, Shelby, GT, 500. Dar unde am șoc de are loc de emblema Cal, Cobra. Sau în acolo acela Cobra. Nu pot să spun că este foarte impresiv și foarte diferit de la 500-ul care a venit înainte. By today's standards, and the car's handling has improved. But this new 2020 is shaping up to be a different beast altogether. Ford says they shall be traipsing around big road courses and not just the quarter mile. Visually, there's a lot of changes to process. The new engine, complete with hood pins, and the biggest vent ever fitted to a production Ford. There's arrow fences along the sides and a new rear fascia that terminates in five-inch exhaust. This particular car is equipped with the hardcore optional carbon fiber track. Yes. Apparently, it's possible to get more power down force out of this setup than the Ford GT supercar, and that whole thing looks like one big wing. So, about that engine, the new pride of Romeo, Michigan, is the 5.2 liter out of the GT350, but not as you know it. The flat plane crank is gone. The result includes additional cross drilling for better cooling, new longer head bolts to keep the whole thing from grenading under the pressure. Plus different head gaskets, valves, seals, seats, and springs. The cooling system has been overhauled too. Like many other Mustangs, the new 500 features magnetic ride control, and the brakes are massive with 16.5-inch front discs that Ford says are the largest of any. The GT500's biggest philosophical change? It comes with a new 7-speed dual clutch. That's right, you can't get a manual. With 100 millisecond shift times, the new box is always going to be quicker on the street strip or road. The only question is, who's involving? Bine. Ford says to expect zero to sixty in the mid threes, and the quarter mile in under eleven seconds. All in, this new GT500 is apparently a chunk quicker around tracks than the already very impressive GT350R, and it's said to be more refined and friendly as well. Now that that would be a real character change for a GT500. Not a whole lot has been done to the interior. There's available Recaros and unique magnesium shifters, but overall, it's pretty buttoned up. There is one big change, however. Car, okay. The traditional gear shift lever has been replaced. I want it to feel substantial and mechanical, cold to the touch, like the crank wheel on a bank vault or maybe a decent faucet. This feels a little plasticky, dainty, and like it came out of a fusion, because it did. The handbrake is also gone, so if you've got 10 block fantasies, you're going to need to stick with a GT3 to this car's on sale date later this fall. Acum voi prezenta Rolls-Royce SUV. 
a revenit cu un Rolls Royce SUV de data asta. Este SUV, primul Rolls Royce Jeep care se deschid cu și reinvers în spate. Și la Rolls Royce... Rolls Royce este singura mașină care se deschid cu și reinvers în spate. Acesta este Rolls Royce Culinan. Da, Culinan. Mamă, sare scaune și stai pe scaun. Stai seama. Rolls Royce Isus Dar Rolls Royce este o mașină foarte legată În spate mă știu să deschid din vers Culenan Rolls Royce Wow, ce display are! Wow, ce face la asta! We also strengthened the drive and prop shaft and created drive to the front wheels as well as to the rear for the very first time in Rolls Royce history. It uses a new architecture in a wholly different manner to deliver a peerless driving experience on road and off-road. Kalinan's new V12 twin turbocharged engine provides all the power necessary for effortless on-road cruising or for power-hungry progress okay. across the roughest terrain. Baby. It's easy to drive the car. The car helps you to drive itself, even on snow in winter or in the desert in the summertime. Kalinan is the pinnacle SUV in the total luxury automotive industry. Two machines. Two machines. 2020 BMW. Serie 7 2020 Nu, eu nu vreau să vă prezint Serie 7 Vreau să vă prezint X 7 Și am revenit cu BMW X7 BMW X7 SUV BMW has ever built Sitting above the X5 and the X6 in the range. And here are the car wire top 10 things you need to know about it. The BMW X7 styling might not be for everyone, but there's no denying that it's striking. That grille is the biggest I've ever seen on a BMW. And it's the X7 slab sides, tall ride height and huge wheels, which are up to 22 inches in size by the way, which make it look more juggernaut and SUV. At the back, meanwhile, you get a shiny chrome bar between the rear and the ends, just like on the 7 Series. And you also get a pair of exhausts that could double as the funnels to a cruise liner. But who's the king of blink? Click on the top right-hand corner of the screen to vote which model you choose. Which model the Range Rover X7 Q8? Who's the new BMW X7, the Audi Q8, the Mercedes G-Class, or the Range Rover? Even the cheapest BMW X7 30D will set you back a whopping £72,000. And that rises to £74,000 for the mid-range X7 xDrive 40i petrol. If you fancy treating yourself to the top of the range X7 M50D, let's get saving. It'll set you back £87,000 and will be well over £100,000 with not too many options added on. Even the basic models get a leather. 
usually find in a partial limousine. Head sport models add a body stereo. 60 miles an hour in just 7 seconds, yet can return 43.5 miles per gallon, which isn't too shabby for a car which looks as big as a castle and also has four-wheel drive. Next up is the 40i petrol with 340 horsepower, a 0 to 60 time of 6.1 seconds and fuel economy of 32.5 miles per gallon. But if you want to have your cake and eat it, you'll need the M50D diesel. It can do 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 5.4 seconds. It will still return an admirable 40.4 miles per gallon. Yeah, you try and get that from your 5 litre supercharged Range Rover, you ain't going to be able to. Practicality isn't an issue in the X7. It comes with seven seats as standard, and access into the back is easy because the back doors are bigger than the fronts. If you don't mind leaving a passenger behind, it's worth considering the six-seater option that gives you two super comfortable captain's chairs in the middle. 2,120 oh, litre and as much elbow room as you get up the front. All the back seats can be moved and folded electrically and with them folded away, the X7 has a massive 2,120 litre low capacity. The X7 comes with BMW's latest okay. iDrive 7 infotainment system as standard. It comes with two yeah. huge... That's a system of a serious chapter. He may have one announce. Mulțumesc că am primit la acest videoclip 666888 322 de vizionare. Deci mi nu vine să cred 322 de vizionare. Și la al doilea meu videoclip, că primul meu videoclip l-am șters, că era foarte cringe, am 225 de vizionare asta. A prins un Samsung Galaxy 3270. Și cum ați fost cu acest episod, nu uitați să lăsați un like și pa, pa, eu am fost Recalandix și nu uitați să apăsați pe butonul de subscribe. Pa!